All right, good luck. I think we're in round five of the tourney to Shodan. Um, this is quite exciting. Um, so, let's see. Recently I have been practicing and trying to learn Opposing Rook. Okay, that's somewhat aggressive. Um, already. <laughs> interesting so I'm gonna oppose the rook anyway I'm just gonna stick to the plan and that's gonna be that um, the plan has to involve some sort of castling of course all right they built a boat I have defended most of the front of my castle. Um, interesting. I don't understand. This may be to pressure me in the case that I... Okay, wow. This is an interesting transition to Mino. Um, I did not anticipate this at all. So I am pretty well defended against Rook Drops, I think. We're going to oppose this directly. Okay, we have entered theory, guys. We are in Theoryville. And I'm going to pretend I know it. Okay. Well, we definitely were in Theoryville at one point. Um... I don't know if we're still there. Hmm. I don't know what more could be done to confuse me here. <laughs> I am pretty deeply confused by this turn of events. Um, they have a bishop they can drop. The scariest place they could drop that would be hitting my dragon and my center pawn near my king. So I can't exactly prevent them from getting a horse. Um, at least not that I can see. I'm so confused. Even if they get a horse, that might not be the end of the world for me. So if I take the lance, if they take my lance, if I take the knight, um, their horse has to run and I've got an extra knight, and that knight can attack. I would prefer to prevent them from promoting, but that's not really an option. So I protect my knight. I'm almost threatening to trap the horse, but not quite. Yeah, one second. So, if I got a bishop, I could be attacking. <laughs> I could do some fun attacks if I had a bishop.
Okay, so like he eventually plans to put a lance down on this back rank. At least I assume he does, because that looks like a reasonable play. Um, yeah, let's go pursue this attack directly against the king. So if he puts down his lance, uh, now he can't put the lance down on the back rank. So suddenly, um, like, if I could get my rook there, or my dragon there, and the way I could is by supporting it with my other rook, um, I could have some pretty serious threats here. Also, I could just exchange and repeat the tactic to win material, um, which seems a bit unsporting. Also, they just trapped... No, well, yes, uh, I could play my rook here, they take my knight. I have not won the horse, but it's not going too far. So his idea is that he wants this horse to escape. That's why he put the lance down, is with the aim of escaping the horse. Even though it seems to do the opposite by giving it the fewer squares to go to. Um, so yeah, now I could rook drop, they take my knight, dragon here. Um, and they have to protect their horse. Um, or sack it. <laughs> um, wait, so if I rook drop here, they could bishop drop here. I could take, they could take my rooks trapped. Um, what a kaleidoscope of variations. Um, of course, there's a way to collapse that entire kaleidoscope. Yeah, I think this just wins. Let's do it. Right. And it could be that I've missed something. Or it could be that I've got a horse. Or it could be both. Um, this is so weird. So if this bishop, like a bishop and a knight could be a fearsome combination maybe um they often are but here maybe not so i'm a bit flustered just how effective those pieces have been so far I want to say I've got it under control. If I take the lance, bishop takes, pawn drop, knight check, king over. Like, how the hell could I possibly lose there? I don't know. Ah, this is a threat. Okay, I always miss this kind of idea. Um...
I need to defend that square. Like stuff dropping on my center square is just going to continue being a huge nuisance. So I need to defend that. And yes, this capture is possible, but my attack becomes rapid here. Um, so their threat is like gold drop right down here. Um, Why didn't I just place my lance in the center? That would not just as effective. Maybe more so. Um. I don't know, but I need to stop him from, like, putting so many pieces in my face. Ah. <sighs> The knight's not going to help me attack. My attacks run out. Mm. I'm going to continue attacking. Anyway, Okay, we need to improvise a castle, because I have misplayed. This is the only way I see to break down the castle. Alright, so this is on my doorstep. Can I continue ignoring it? I don't think so. Silver takes... Um, I'm not sure where the next drop happens. Okay, this is a Mino that's on the wrong column. Oh, right, he defend... Okay, shit, I knew that. Um, I forgot about that. That's not super great to forget about. So now he does have a ton of pieces he can drop on my side of the board. Hmm. Indeed. I'd love to drop my lance and start taking stuff, but um, he has a knight drop right here. This is actually a decent square for my knight.
I am so embarrassed. <laughs> Okay, put the lance as far back as possible. So if he takes my knight, I get his bishop. I don't think he's going to allow that. On the other hand, uh, moving the bishop away allows me some interesting threats. so clumsy. I want to get my bishop into the side of the castle, but um, yeah, there's all these pieces in my way. So now, temporarily, this silver prevents him from dropping a knight, but soon he'll be able to drop the knight right there. Um, I'm afraid of chasing his king, because if I check, then all I'm doing is chasing it. I don't see how to give checkmate.
So if he gets a horse all the way up here, I don't know that that's enough to deliver mate. Maybe this is too heavy. I'm not sure. If he sacrifices the horse, he has only one ranged piece left, and that's his lance. Um, meanwhile, my bishop and rooks do cover some squares, but my king is not on that side of the board yet. I want to play silver 2-2. Two, two. I just need to find time for it. But also I want to play like a lance on this file to hit this pawn. Nothing's protecting this pawn. It's not that I even want the pawn. I want the knight, but I get mated if I take it. scary. Hmm. 
30秒40秒50秒12 I mean yes he wants to escape the king into the corner I don't know if that's a possibility spot it okay yeah I play quickly because I think I'm losing so I don't think it matters how rapidly I play here okay now I'm not so sure now I could do pawn takes it'd be one thing if I were forced to do king takes and then my king get driven back and bad stuff happened here I think I'm okay for once. For maybe the first time in the game. <laughs> but it's a good time to be okay. No doubt Abigail is watching in shock and horror and all sorts of other reactions, but it was an interesting game throughout. Um, it might not be over yet, too. Like, whatever attack I can drum up might be indecisive. but I've got time to drum up an attack unless somehow I manage to get mated. Calming down. Hmm. Okay, this attempts to confine my king. This attack feels kind of clumsy, but I think it works. So gold drop, king takes, lance drop. I think does it. Uh, 
that was an adventure. Oh my goodness. Good game. Jeez. Every round, an adventure. This one, I don't know, man. A lot of stuff happened. Um, yeah, let me switch back to smaller pieces so we can look at this together. Uh, what an endgame. All right, so yeah, um, so this pawn drop, uh, do I take the pawn? Is it unwise for, no, I have to take it, otherwise I'm losing my rook. Um, I think I have to take this, otherwise, um, my rook is lost with loss of tempo. Um. Hmm, I have a choice. Yeah, Gakuen got excited. Well, it's kind of late for him. Um. So, I have a choice. Do I try to do this or this? Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, we can look at this. I don't really have a preference for one way or the other. Oh, king 6-7 and there's no mate. Oh, whoops. Um, oh, hang on. Yes, I can't do this. Um, okay, yeah, if this... Yeah, I guess I'm in trouble. I'm. Yeah, knight 6-4 is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I think we're talking about this knight here. We both got all excited about the two knight checks in a row possibility, but. Um... Yeah. I wonder where earlier uh, I missed things, but I'm sure computers will say that there are any things that I missed, but, um, oh wow, with a bishop and two golds, maybe I'm surviving this somehow. It seems unlikely, um, but maybe. So I'd have to retreat this way, right? Oh, this check. Wow. Um, I was so fixated on trying to avoid this bishop drop check that, yeah. Yeah. While I might dispute some of the finer nuances of this, like, Yeah, this is pretty obviously strong. I don't know if yet if it's checkmate, but we're getting very close. Although, if we're winning the rook with check, like, this has got to be checkmate then. Yeah, I'm not pausing for dramatic effect. I'm actually trying to read this because it's pretty hard. Um, okay. Well, I'm not going to dispute that if that's what he wants to look at. Yeah, the early run of the king uh, in 6-4. Oh, move 64 was kind of overkill ah c4 
so many other games. I moved the goal, but I think you're right. Um, in general, my king uh, gets trapped. Well, okay. Again, I'm not going to dispute that if he wants to, like, move forward and move backward and stuff, but, um, yeah, it, it's really situational. So, yeah, Atia is telling us there is a mate in three somewhere. Or they, rather, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm lucky just to find my own checkmates. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. It does come down to a race, especially at this opening. Um, yeah yeah reading in yo yomi is hard even with 60 second uh yo yomi <laughs> yeah still it's good to have input so i can form Intuition for I can't spell and intuition for next time. <laughs> um. And Gakuin's beating himself up over not finding a mate here. I somewhat fault him for that, but also, like, I'm not sure. I'm sure we both played mistakes. So to whatever extent he wants me to agree with him and find fault in his play, sure. To whatever extent we agreed, like, maybe, maybe we could have scheduled the match game for a better time. I don't know. Because I know if I'd been playing late at night, I would probably do the same thing. Um. <laughs> yeah, we're saying... Oh, moving the gold. Gold drop 5-5. Five five. Hmm, that's interesting. I hadn't even... Is this really okay? Um... Yeah, this looks painful. Oh! Oh! Uh, so yeah, I actually control this. Whoops. Uh, I can't draw, but I control these. That makes a difference. Um, yeah, I think I would run one way or the other here. And then I have to see, like, where's my checkmate? <laughs> oh, is this so? Oh, that's cool. With my back to the wall, I maybe could have found some of this. Hopefully most of it. Um... Yeah. So many variations. There's so much to read. Um, but yeah, it makes sense.
Right, this is tempting. I was looking at stuff like this during the... Oh, there it is. If I have the silver in hand, that's the difference. Right. Uh, and back here... Um, I mean, yeah, this has to mate, right? Yeah, that's cleaner than what I found. Yeah, that'll do it. This is the sort of thing I could have found during the game, just because it mops the pieces around his king off the board. The fewer defenders there are, the easier it is for me to find the mate. Ah, wow. Yeah, it was crazy dangerous, as many of these games are. Oh, right. We were both caught a bit by surprise in the opening, I think. Unless this is all planned, but... Um... Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so... What? Um... Oh, I don't... Well, I'm getting a silver soon, so... But yeah, this is another way to look at it. Yeah, my king survives. This bishop is really instrumental. I keep forgetting how useful it can be. Because usually my bishop's on 5-5. Five five. So yeah, my counterattack just goes straight through. Unless, like, he has some great way to defend against it. But at, the, at this point, it's too hard to resist my attack. I've got a dragon, I've got stuff in hand, and like my bishop and gold are directed straight at his king which is in the center of the board, so defense could be hard. Unless I start trading stuff. Then there's both defense and offense. Um. Okay, oh! Well, so we were looking at this, right? Oh, right, this does remove the threat mate. Oh, that changes things considerably then, because I need the threat mate. Yeah. We have a complete reversal of evaluation, because I need the threat mate for... Um, to have any chance of surviving this game. Yeah, I think I have to capture this. And we run this way? Okay. This removes the threat mate. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, should I just run this way, perhaps? There seems to be a lot of open air on the left side of the board. And... This bishop over there is particularly menacing. Um, maybe I just take this. I don't know. Uh, what? <laughs> Take the knight? Okay, that's exciting. 
I'm not sure why this is indicated. But that's kind of funny. Right, so yeah, we run away. Well, if we run away, we get forked. So maybe I have to take here. Um, Oh, well, probably the same situation. I was looking at a couple other possibilities here, but... Um, but yeah, a Lance Promote doesn't help. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, this doesn't look easy at all. Okay, Atya wants to point out one thing. Oh. I'm not sure who you're preaching to here. This is Makai Bisha, Makai Bisha 101. Mukai Bisha. All right. Yeah, I think I'm good here. Um, I'm guessing his interface crashed. But yeah, I think. I'm not sure who he's referring to when he says don't allow this situation. Uh. <laughs> uh, to be clear, uh, let's see, what color? Um, let's see, Gota stands better here. <laughs> Sorry, like... I think so. Um, like, this was all surprising to him, I'm sure. Uh, I didn't even castle yet. This is weird. Um... Thanks for the game, Kakuen 5. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's several rounds left in this tournament. It's a rough event. It gets more competitive every round. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think. I've seen this before. Likewise, exciting game. Yeah. Good night. Alright, so... Alright, Dora Hidori Fu Guna Gakkai. Uh... Yeah, I'll need a dictionary. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay. I'll need a dictionary for that one, but yeah, just put the gold up here. Um. Yeah, I really needed to defend that uh, five three square. Or even the new Nakabisha defense to structure. Oh, cool. 
so yeah that's what this castle is when they bring the silver up this way and put the gold behind like this is the new nakabisha at least for defense uh so yeah i'll have to find more games where that's done um being that i want to start playing that more often um Oh, wait, should I do this here? Hmm. Hmm, I don't remember how this goes at all. Oh, yeah, if I get the knight, I get that with tempo. Um... Can I use the knight and attack somehow? I guess I'll ask engines or databases for <laughs> uh, Joe Secchi. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is all like theory stuff that I think I was a bit fortunate to have this happen this crazy accident um, but I think it turned out okay it was pretty wild just just watch uh, Japanese youtubers they have a huge variety of strategies yeah, Muranaka is great. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I'll find a software solution eventually. Because, <laughs> yeah, I know, like, every freaking thing is written in Japanese, and you have to know all the Japanese names, and... I'd be able to identify the pieces and such. And I'm getting better at these things. It takes time. But also, like, if I uh, make progress on Play Shogi, make it a better resource, and then maybe add on a dictionary or something, that could be great. There are even extreme niche YouTubers that only play one strategy. Oh. Uh, someone will have to collect an index of these. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, Murnaka plays, like, everything and shows you, like, here's what I was thinking and here's how this position is different than all the other games that we've looked at. Which is great. Because eventually there's going to be a video for everything that you want to play. Um, and then Erko shows, like, here's some attacking strategies that just work in general. Oh, um, I suppose so. I should look closer to see what there is out there. Um, but yeah, it makes sense, like, this silver rising this up and then play this gold to defend the head. And then at my leisure continue attacking which uh i don't know anyway i'll continue developing uh contributing to play shogi um and so it's getting better by the day um, and I'm glad that it's an open source project that we can contribute toward. Uh, uh, it's good to have some sort of locus, L-O-C-U-S, that everything can um, gather around. If you don't want to understand absolutely everything from what's happening, you could always play against or watch videos of MIFA. Okay. I 
Yeah, I've seen a a user by that name. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of games in 81 Dojo, so I just need to find somebody who's uh, who plays the way that I would like playing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Although this one was unrated. <laughs> But yeah, demotion match is coming soon. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if I'm ready. Uh, well, this is a tourney to showdown. Games are optionally rated but recommended to be rated. Um, but my opponent didn't want a rated game. And I was fine with agreeing to the terms of this. Um, yeah. I was okay with these game terms. He uh, accommodated uh, my schedule. Yeah. So, like, this wasn't the best hour for him. So he proposed an unrated game. Um, and I accepted his proposal. So I don't need... Like, my rating's gonna go up and down over time anyway. Um, yeah, it could have been interesting to make this rated, because, like, um, he's close to going into 1Q, and I'm close to going back down into 3Q. Yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> It'll be fun to play again when next our schedules meet. Because he's a good player. He's a great player, but I caught him off guard. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, and I feel a little bit bad about it, but, um, what can you do? Also, yeah, at some point, maybe I'll continue my playthrough of the learn Japanese to survive and maybe learn some Japanese characters and maybe, uh, I suppose so. As supposing he actually lives there and I suppose he does as this flag indicates. So, yeah, this is like the trick, the one trick that uh, Shogi Harbor taught me from a previous game. Yeah, uh, I don't know, like, for somehow he asked me, we played the game, it's okay. We can discuss later. Um, I assume, like, he was all amped up on energy drinks or whatever. Um, as for me, I had my apple. It was quite good. Um, yeah. Thanks for the analysis. Yeah. That's quite the game. Um, in fact, it was such quite the game that I'm going to copy the Kifu. And load up Shogi Gooey. <laughs> yep. Uh, see ya. I've been polite. We've been uh, trading comments back and forth. I've been offering many, many neutral comments, allowing him to take the direct discussion wherever he wants to. Um, yes. No, I don't fully know, like, exactly what's going on here and whether or not. Um, I'm actually curious. It, no, this is not going to be in the pro database. This is an opening trap. This is not going to be in the pro database. But yeah, I think what I did was fine. This seems ill-timed um, for reasons already pointed out. This yeah, I think there are a lot of fun tactics here that we both saw and that we both missed. Um, 
yeah, this shows how you can start an attack with the bishop, despite being down an entire bishop. Um, so perhaps, well, a bishop drop doesn't actually slow down his attack because we exchange and he puts it back down here. Um, yeah, maybe something like this stops the attack in its tracks. And then if this, yeah, same old, same old second verse, same as the first. Um, yeah, he's actually in a lot of trouble here. And I think I'm winning the bishop outright, so... Um, yeah, that would have been a good find. That would have saved us a lot of time. <laughs> um, but then we would have missed out the adventure that we had. Um, also, this knight fork was very good. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff happened this game. Um, so, where was it? He did this bishop drop. I debated not taking the horse. Well, no, I need the horse at this point. But here, I considered like this with this threat. Um, or maybe even this threat. And I just don't have a lot of experience in this position. So I was super panicky about like stuff like this. Um... I now see that I haven't played Mino. Wow. So this is like Mino, the attack shifted over a column, and it makes a tremendous amount of difference that it's shifted over one. Because if I pass, like this check, I'm fine. I don't need to panic here. Even, I don't know why I panicked. Like, this is incredible. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff was missed on my part. That is pretty incredible just how bad that was. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I was afraid of that. Um, I don't think there's so much for me to be afraid of, especially because it should be my turn to attack soon. Um... So I think against this, he has to, like, play something back to defend. Or maybe not that. Maybe he plays a lance here. And this cuts off my dragon. Um, and then we have this stuff all over again. Except... Where did my dragon move from again? Oh, it moved from 2-1 um, to 2-9. So it was never protecting against this, and then this, right. Even this I probably have covered somehow, but... Um, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot. You could make anthologies just out of the things I missed this game. Because um, there's just so much that I missed. Um, see, so yeah, I did manage to win the horse, but, um, this could have been interesting. Um, yeah, I haven't, I didn't read this out because it was, it just looked way too crazy for me to read, but I'm the only one attacking here, so... It's almost certainly fine. But also, like, if I believe in that attack, surely I believe in this the other way around, right? With, like, this sort of thing? Um. Well, here I'm offering up my knight, but I don't know. Yeah, there's just so many targets here. I really don't know what I was afraid of. Um, I 
I guess his lance drop isn't so much to get his horse escaped. I mean, I didn't read this too closely either. I made some effort, but panicked. Um, this is just too tense. Um, like, I don't see the weakness of this castle. I see this one place if I have a bishop or like something like that to drop, but I don't. He's got both bishops. So he's actually defended well against rooks. Um, yeah, maybe as I practice more sume, it'll become more obvious to me what happened here. Um, but also, um, as that spectator was observing, uh, this, he says, is probably best. Um, and I suppose the continuation is that. And so yeah, I've defended my castle. Um, protected this. And uh, this horse can't really go anywhere. It looks nice. But my rook, my dragon, and my next dragon um, are more effective. Unless he's got some great tactic here. Maybe he does. Um, I guess there's like this. How's this line up again? Okay, that's a straight line. So this does threaten this here. Um, yeah, maybe a spectator's not exactly right in this particular situation. I'm not sure. Um, also possible is just attempt to defend this. Um, oh, I did misread this. Somehow I thought this was a fork. Well, it is. It hits this pawn. <sighs> and as important as that pawn is, like, this position's fine. Um, this is amusing, isn't it? Give back the rook, and I'm still okay. But, um, perhaps this is better? No, this looks scary. Why does this look scary, but the other stuff doesn't? I don't know. It's because I don't have a hard counter to this. And this bishop continues to apply pressure down here. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I could drop my rook into the corner with tempo. Yeah, this is not so clear. So attempting to save the lance is a fool's errand. Um, yeah, I think the way I played it was fine, but somehow I got in trouble. I don't think I adequately considered a lance drop back here. But it's not a good attacking piece back there. So now I think I've... <laughs> now I've adequately considered it and it's just not good. But, um... Yeah, 
yeah, what a tricky opening. Sorry, I keep looking at the rest of this. At what point... So, the spectator commented um, that this knight drops 6-4... Yeah, I don't know. Like, the end game is hard for me to read. I need to practice. And that's not the best position to practice in. It's something I'm emotionally invested in, but it's not the best to practice. So he does this knight drop, and I allow him to take a gold and a silver. In exchange, I cover... Oh, this is the thing I was looking for. Yeah, so this is where I considered... What about this? But no, he's got material. He can slow down my attack. Um, so, like, I'm one move away from this. And if I were there, I'd have a threat mate. But he could place anything on the back rank to stall me. Um, yeah, taking the lance was just so foolish. It invited attacks that I'd never wanted to see, ever. Um, I'm not sure how best I defend against this, because he's got another lance coming, but... Um, yeah, getting into the situation in the first place is messy. Wait, so this happened because I was committed to on winning that horse. Um, so I was remarking earlier that this is a possibility. Yeah, this... okay. Yeah, I guess there's no more tricks here. <sighs> Maybe there's some fun tactics. Oh, it's not even my move there. I'm now seeing, like, why this could be potentially so effective. So, like, I get a nice counterattack running very quickly here. Um... I guess he has to block somewhere back here, and my attack stops, so that's not it. That's too heavy. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was quite a game. I'm struggling to come up with anything original to say, but I think the other players pointed out everything there was to point out. Um, Wait, why did I play that? So, at this timing, this is the best timing for me to do this. Um, because the tactic immediately follows. No, but then I get pinned. Just kidding. This is a terrible timing. This is the correct timing for the attack. There we go. Um, of course, here they just run away. So there's not any trick to it here. Um, when did this... Okay, here's when the trick showed up. And yeah, I did react exactly correctly here. So they attempt to switch from boat to Mino. And this is the right timing for me to break because this forces them to either um, do something unusual, to either spend a move like pushing something to stop that tactic, or they've got a pawn drop in front of their rook. Um, I'm not sure I even understand this. Hmm. 
like there are other positions that are hard so even though i am threatening to take the pawn um i don't know how real that threat is because like they can defend this Oh, but I have pawn in hand, so like if they do something like this, and I threaten to take the pawn, um, I can insist that I'm taking the pawn. So therefore, yeah, they can't stop me from taking it here. Um, and now if they decide to open the diagonal, I can refuse. And this bishop has to move, and stuff like that. Okay, so I've made one constructive comment here, beyond what we have already did during our previous analysis. So yeah, that was an exciting game. Was there any mate toward the end that I missed? Perhaps. Um, so, yeah. Was there a cleaner mate here? I'm not sure. All checkmates work, but... Um, I don't know, maybe more typical might have been something like this. It's all the same thing. Wait, hang on. King here. No, I still mate. So this is also checkmate. Um... So yeah, what I had first been looking at was this check, and then this check, and I don't think this works. So you can rule this out. Yeah, so maybe I found one of only a couple mates here. Um, yeah, my king, there was a lot that was confusing about this, but either way, uh, thanks for the game. Um, yeah, I'll certainly feed it into my engine, look at what it considers, but um, I can't dwell too much on an opening trap. Even if I did play the trap exactly the way it's intended to be played. So the notion here is that because Senta doesn't want to allow this particular trick, normally um, pushing... Well, I'm sorry, normally you would proceed this kind of king idea by pushing something like this uh, so that there's no discovery here. So I know it can feel that that's a bit slow, um, but here it's kind of necessary. So yeah. Um, okay, well good game.